Good morning. It's March 21st, 2020. The Eagles are gathering. This is a open letter uh, from Brother Joseph Branham on the websites that are linked uh, here below. And um, the link will be provided for you. God bless you. Now, dear Bride of Jesus Christ, this is the day we have longed and prayed to see. A day when we see prophecy being fulfilled before our very eyes. A day that all the prophets and sages of old long to live in. There has never been a day in the history of the world that has affected the whole earth like this day. And today there must be something to unite his bride. How did he say he would unite his bride? the way he has always united his bride, by his prophets. How did he bring Christ here? By the word of the prophets. Is that right? How will he bring his bride here? By the word of the prophets. The coronavirus has the world in fear and has forced believers from around the world not to be able to attend worship services. The bride, however, has the opportunity to unite around the word for this day. Father has forced the bride to turn their homes into churches to hear the voice of the seventh church age messenger. I'm going to add to that. Glory. Hallelujah. This is not the first time something like this has happened. When two messengers snuck into Jericho to spy out the city, before Joshua's soldiers burned it to the ground, one young lady welcomed the message into her home. Because she did so, the invading army spared everyone under her roof. Brother Branham said, But there must have been some tape boys slipped in somewhere for that predestinated seed. They slipped over to her house and played some tapes. So she made her home, her own house, a church to receive the message. They still got them, you know. That is from the token 630901M. There is only one thing that we all agree on, this message. And Father is bringing us together as never before from around the world to hear his messenger speak the word at the same time. The enemy has tried to destroy the people's confidence in God's messenger by saying, you don't have to believe all that he said, just the inspired part of the message. But God's prophet told us there would be a group of people that would believe every word. They are the real living seed of Abraham. And when the real living seed of Abraham come up, that same spirit was in Jesus Christ will live among them. Every word will be punctuated with a amen. They believe it. Not this is inspired and this is not inspired. They believe the whole thing because it's the word of God. God has provided way for his bride to hear the message for themselves in the end time. He had his messenger store up the food. Hidden, the hidden manna for his bride to feast upon. He told his bride, you must believe every word that was on the tapes. In the name of Jesus Christ, don't you add one thing. Don't take, put your own ideas in it. Just say what is said on the tapes. You just do exactly what the word, the Lord God has commanded to do. Don't add to it. Just don't add to it. Don't take from it. Just believe it and walk humble before the Lord your God, for we are nearing going into the land. Many of the pastors from around the world have asked their flocks to be listening to the tapes in their homes during these times. I would like to invite the bride from around the world to welcome God's messenger into their homes this weekend. 
we have the opportunity to gather our families together like Rahab of Jericho and hear God's seventh angel messenger break the bread of life to us. It's a tremendous opportunity for all of us to lay aside any differences and unite on one thing that we can all agree on. That will bring us all together the vindicated message of the hour, the token for our day. If you would like to unite with us, open your home to the prophet and hear the same sermon as thousands of other believers around the world. We will be listening to the message 65-0718M, trying to do God a service without being the will of God at 10 a.m. Jeffersonville, Indiana time. I am looking forward to gathering at his throne with each of you, his bride, as we listen to his messenger bring us the message that will perfect us and make us ready for his soon coming. Brother Joseph. The following links are to download 650718M in French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Romanian and Italian. The sermons are translated and recorded in real time with no gaps in the following languages. This is a remarkable time, my brothers and sisters, around the world, and we are gathering together. We're obeying, we're listening, we're obeying God's uh, servant and prophet, Brother Joseph, at this time what to do. Uh, he is as the tape will tell you today, has, uh, is predestinated uh, and called, God called for this time. How dare anybody uh, question God, uh, whether uh, God was right in, in choosing him to be in this place at this time. So uh, we also have uh, some uh, translations on the Seer Vista, Fellowship. The link is also below, and and uh, they, those uh, brothers that have dedicated their life for you, the Bride of Christ, in those many different languages, um, as the opportunity has has allowed them, uh, they have translated this same tape that that uh, Brother Joseph has uh, instructed us uh, to listen to today. Uh, those brothers are also posting those translations uh, today, maybe even tomorrow. But we're trying to to get all the brothers uh, as uh, working in unity so that we can uh, hear these tapes as we need to hear them and when to hear them. So uh, we pray that God will bless you uh, as you obey the word and obey his prophet. As... Uh, as we have been so faithfully taught in the message, and as we'll hear today, how important it is to consult God by and through his prophets and listen to what the prophet has to say. Great men, ministers, uh, great leaders are not the ones that are to give us counsel at this time. It's a prophet, and the word of God comes to a prophet. Amos 3, 7. Now I want to leave with, with you a, an excerpt of what Brother Branham said on uh, trying to do God a service without us being his will. And uh, I hope this will be a blessing to you. Now, I want to read you a scripture. I want you to read it with me. I want you to turn to Deuteronomy 4 in closing. I think enough probably has been said that you'll understand. Deuteronomy 4. I'm going to read two places in here. And to this church and to the tapes, people on tapes and people on the hookup across other parts of the nation, I want you to listen to this real close and don't you fail. This is a thing that I... Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. Now I'm going to get the first verse. I'm going to read the first verse, and then I'm going to read the 25th and the 26th verse. You can read it all when you get home, but just save time so we can get out on time. Because we've got to come back again tonight, the Lord willing. Listen to this prophet speak. He had been in the presence of God. 
He knows what he was talking about. Listen. Now therefore hearken, O Israel, unto the statutes and to the judgments which I teach you. For to do them, that ye may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers giveth you. That types our millennium. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall you diminish out of it. Don't add one thing to it and don't take one thing away from it. Stay, just say what it says. That ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. Your eyes have seen what the Lord did to Baal Peor for all the man that followed Baal Peor, the Lord thy God has destroyed them from among you. Now you're a separated people out of them denominations. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God, ye are alive, every one of you, this day. You never died with your denomination. You're alive now and in the presence of God. Close. Don't miss it. 25th verse. Uh, when you're going into land, now watch what happens. And when thou shalt beget children and children's children, and you have remained long in the land and shall corrupt yourself, that's what happens, and make graven images, something else, on the likeness of anything, and shall do evil in the sight of the Lord thy God to provoke him to anger. Listen! I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day. See? That you shall soon utterly perish from off the land or the place where you go over Jordan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but ye shall utterly be destroyed. This was Moses speaking to Israel after he had been vindicated by God by a pillar of fire and no, he was proven to be God's servant to lead them out. And before they went into the land, before they entered, Moses said, Now the words that I have spoken to you, I call heaven and earth to witness against them. If you add one thing to it or take one word from it, you'll not stay in the land where the Lord God gives you. So say I in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't you add one thing. Don't take put your own ideas in it. You just say what is said on those tapes. You just do exactly what the Lord God has commanded to do. Don't add to it. He has ever keeps his promise to us. Every promise that he has made, he's kept it. Has he told you what would happen? And did it happen? I bring heavens and earth before you today in a challenge. Has God ever said anything that he has not fulfilled and done exactly what he said he would do for us? Has he done it just the way he said he would do it? That's exactly so will he continue to do it. Just don't add to it. Don't take from it. Just believe it and walk humble before the Lord your God. For we're nearing the going into the land. Then you won't return. You won't return to this type of a life again. You'll return as an immortal being. You'll turn when sin is done away with. When Satan is bound. And for a thousand years you'll live upon this earth that the Lord thy God has given thee. For the meek shall inherit the earth. Blessed is he that doeth all of his commandments that he might have the right to enter into the city. For without are sorcerers, liars, whoremongers, and dogs. They shall not enter therein. But they're only for the redeemed into those who walk in his commandments. Don't take some new thing. They're flying everywhere and there'll be more than that come. But don't take these new things. The Lord your God has declared to you what is truth. The Lord your God has vindicated what is truth by his word and by his spirit. Not by power, not by might, 
but by my spirit. And the spirit, God seeks those who worship him in the spirit and truth. Thy word is truth. And he's thoroughly vindicated that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's showed the evening seeds to you. He's revealed it to you in the Word. He's proven it to you by His Spirit. Don't never start or try an organization. Don't try to build up on anything else but stay humble before the Lord your God. For it looks like the gates may open into the promised land soon. Then let us go in with the true singing and rejoicing. When the bride and groom takes its place at the throne. Live humble. Live loving. Love one another. Don't ever get nothing among you. If you see something coming up your heart against somebody, get it out of there right then. Don't let, and Satan will do his best to get among you. See? Don't you let that happen. Some slick tongue fellow might come along and try to take you away from it. You think they could talk Moses out of the presence of God where he stood there and seen him? No, sir. No, we don't take from it or add to it. Just keep it the way the Lord said. We don't want no denomination. We don't want no organizations. We don't want no malice. We don't want no strife. We want God. And He is the Word. 